So there folks, welcome back to XCOM. Uh, we have a landed UFO we need to go deal with uh, in the United States. Let us get right on that, shall we? Um, just adjust my headset, hold on a sec. Slightly louder than expected. Right, our sniper uh, is injured, basically, so that's going to have to change. Um, I also... Uh, landed UFO, don't really want to bring Patrick Stewart, this is going to be quite out in the open, I would rather bring I think a rookie to class up um, we've also got Weaver here who I think was our best backup sniper uh, yeah she was better than Morgan Freeman, I'm pretty sure of that so let us uh, do her armour first because she changed back to the other armour because she was injured, which they do sometimes and in the meantime we have got what we got, Matt Damon uh, the assault guy, the support guy, and yeah, let's take Katy Perry with us, shall we? Do we want to change her loadout at all? We'll give her the med kit. We've got a spare med kit lying around. Maybe she'll class up as a support. That'd be quite nice. Um, so five men. Who have we got? This guy was the um, what's his name? Patrick Johnson. He was the guy we got from a mission. Uh, and then Matt Damon, Jackie Chan, Kate Perry, Sigourney Weaver. Boom. Let's go. Ugh. Well, if this goes smoothly, by the time the next mission happens, we should have some carapace armour. That'd be very nice. Uh, we're going to try and feed some kills to the assault and support as well if we can. Um, because the sooner we get that six squad member, the better. It's going to make a big difference, I think. Reports indicate the UFO set down in a sparsely populated area. Right, let us go. Let us go in. Oh god, I hope there's none of those seekers on this level. We really don't want to run into any more of them until we've got some better armour, I think. And we definitely need to start thinking about some way to detect them. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if maybe when we get our money at the end of the month we should build um, the opposite of the mech lab. What was it, like the genetic alterations lab? Because the more I started thinking about it, the more I was thinking maybe there's like eye enhancements, like visual enhancements uh, that would seem quite logical. Right, anyway, where is this UFO? Ah, oh, there's some meld over there, so it's probably that way. Um, I don't see any fire yet. But, oh, it didn't crash, did it? It landed. Oh, yeah, shit. Okay. Uh, right, let's move some people to defensible positions, shall we? I'm going to send those two over there. Uh, what's this guy? Assault. Uh, do we want to run and gun him up? Oh, the craft is right there. Uh, let's hold his turn. Let's take the rookie. There's the meld. She's got visuals on the meld. Okay, four turns. We might be able to get to that one, actually. Um... And I guess we, we're probably going to want to collect it if we are going to start using genetic enhancements on people. I think putting the sniper behind this log might give her a reasonable uh, bead of sight over there. I'm just going to move this guy as far as these rocks. I'm not going to push any further forward in case anything jumps us. Uh, I will overwatch with his pistol. Um, and then just get everyone else on a standard overwatch. Uh, sniper will be overwatching with pistol, obviously. There we go. Right, let's see what happens. There we go. Look, straight away. Fucking Seekers. I knew it. Kill them. We've done three damage to one of them. Oh, and they're just going to go stealth mode on our ass now. Uh, right. I think the best thing to do in this situation is Overwatch. Um with everyone, just literally. I'm going to get the sniper rifle out. Uh, and this guy, I'm going to move him a little bit closer and overwatch with his shotty. Oh, because I really want to kill these guys. I hate them. I hate them so much. Please, please die. There's one. Fucking kill it. Oh, yes. Get it down. Okay, there's still another one somewhere. <laughs> really slow motion shot of the sniper taking forever. 
Can I have a... Can we have the camera back? Thank you. Uh, we're not sure exactly where it is, the other seeker. Uh, and I'm not moving until we fucking find it and kill it. I'm gonna uh, reload, select people, and overwatch with the others. Ooh, here comes some floaters. Good job I did a little bit of reloading, isn't it? There's also a seeker. There he is. You little bastard. <sighs> Assault missed. Oh, sniper missed as well. Not good. That is not good. Uh, I think there's still a support watching, though. Is he going to get a shot off? Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that just shooters? Did not know that was a thing. Uh, right, first things first. Sniper, 43%. Why? Why 43%? It's right there. How can you not see that? Is it the elevation? Oh my god. It gets elevation bonuses. Uh, the floaters appear to just be sat there. I don't think we've actually triggered them yet. We're going to lose that meld, but, you know. Fuck that, really. What can you do? This fucking thing, I swear to God. Uh, can this guy get a decent pistol shot at it, maybe? 38. Jesus, that is dire. No wonder we're having so much trouble. 2% with the shotgun. Right, he can reload. Uh, you, I want you on Overwatch. No, in fact, Jesus Christ, you better heal her. My God, I did not notice it had done that much damage to her. Uh, let's heal her up. Jesus Christ. These things are brutal. She's got a 35. Let's take that. Oh my god, she actually got it. Holy shit. Right. Uh, I'm going to move Matt Damon up a little bit. And put him on Overwatch. And then I'm going to Overwatch with the sniper as well. Because those uh, floaters, I think, are probably going to head for us now. Oh, they're retreating. Are they all going to retreat? Okay, I think we can probably push up now. Um, let's do it. Oh, oh, you've got to be fucking shitting me. There's no way they were there. That is bullshit. Absolute bullshit. I'm not buying that. Uh, right, okay. Let's fucking let's do something rocket-based. Can we get a rocket over multiple guys over here? No, we can't. Uh, we could definitely get a rocket over here somewhere. That might hit all three of them. Let's try that. And if not, it'll blow their cover up. Oh, beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Now, that is a well-timed rocket. Oh my god. Uh, Weaver has got nothing, apparently. Uh, Jackie Chan will come back to... These two guys have got nothing either, but we can run and gun one guy in. Um, they've also got Overwatch up, so we're going to use him to break the Overwatch as well, I think. Um, if we push him... I guess we could push him reasonably far, it doesn't matter. Let's do that. Let's push him in. There goes the lightning reflexes. Overwatch is broken. That means we can reposition the other guys without uh, without, without worrying about it. Oh, God. All the spawns at once. We've got a 76, a 44, and a 56. We'll take the 76. Oh, wasn't enough to kill him. God damn it. Uh, Jackie Chan will come back to you because you've got pretty good aim. Let's move Katy Perry up. She's got one. 65. That's not too bad. Take that. She got him. Still two alive. Sigourney Weaver still can't see anything. And that's it. That's all we've got left. Right. So, Jackie Chan. 50 or 70. I like the odds on the 70. Wow. Much miss. Um, so, we'll move the sniper up. Not worth taking a pistol shot at this stage. You can't even see them anyway, so we'll just have to reload. Ugh, these floaters. Pain in the ass. Well, that's a double move. So, uh, bad mistake by him there. 
And this one... Double move as well. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Right. Uh, Matt Damon. Let us move you round the side. Solid copy. And we will take a flanked shot at that one. That's him dead. Oh my god, he, <laughs> he's still alive because of the damage. Oh, Jesus. Uh, sniper on the other one, 33. Why is that sniper so shit? Jackie Chan, 35. Is that guy? Oh, he's got full cover over there. Jesus. Okay. So we could do with someone flanking him. Um, backup sniper. If you want to pop that one, gets him out of the way. Right then. He's already used his um, his run and gun. Which is not massively helpful. I can hear something as well. It might just be the mail container, but there's a sound down there. Um, what we got then? Katy Perry. Not really got anywhere good she can move to. We want to bring her in a bit closer, I think. 25. Fuck me, that is... Dire. Has anyone got a grenade? You've got a grenade. Okay. We'll take your grenade. <sighs> and then that should leave him exposed for Jackie Chan. Nice. And that should probably be it. That was eight aliens, so there should just be an outsider left. Um, I'm going to overwatch with Katy Perry anyway, just to be safe. Um, I think we're going to make a beeline for the meld. Um, so we're going to budge people up. We'll have to do a bit of reloading, strategic reloading, in case there's a... Um, just in case there's anything out there. You can't be too careful. Uh... Let's move him over here. I'm doing some dash moves because I want to try and get that meld if we can. As soon as though it's right there. Uh, where do I want to put the sniper? I guess watching the ship. Oh shit, she spawned it already. Okay, right. Well, I suppose if we kill him, we get the meld anyway, don't we? So... I would have liked to have... Um, to have had some shots on this turn though, that's a bit annoying. Who's this guy? Shotgunner. I mean, I think the squad can probably take him down. I'm gonna have to move him though, because he's in a bad position. Those rocks have been toasted by the rockets. Uh, I guess we'll just relocate him to this tree here. And pistol overwatch, I guess. Uh, nobody else is on Overwatch, so this guy's pretty much got a free shot here. Oh, right on the sniper. Why is it always the snipers? Jesus Christ. Uh, let's get her healed up. One turn till that meld's no longer accessible. So if we can, we want to fucking kill this guy. Uh, run and gun is active. I think that's definitely a good place to start. Not much cover though, so we're going to be taking it from over here. Let's see what sort of shot we've got. 4%. They must have altered the cover systems because these these percentages are just fucking appalling. They are absolutely dire. Uh, she's not going to make it to that meld. Can the sniper reach the meld? Yeah, but she can't activate it in this turn. Okay, so we are definitely going to need to kill this guy if we're going to get the meld. 33. Fuck off. That is so bad. What about pistol? 33 as well, so we might as well take the sniper rifle shot. She's missed. Ugh, I can tell. Fuck's sake, this game really is so hard. 
Wow, she literally cannot aim from there. We've got this guy. Can't really do an awful lot with him. <clears throat> Jeez, this is this is not good. Well, we're not, we're not going to be able to get that meld. That's just there's no chance, literally no chance of getting that meld. <sighs> I don't know what's up with this game recently. It seems like every fucking map I play just spawns everything on me straight away. It used to be you explored the map and found the aliens and killed them, and this time it's just like you start the map and it's just like, here's all the aliens, have fun. Uh, right. I'm going to take a shot with Jackie Chan. Fail. Uh, I'm going to take the next shot with the assault. There is no side cover. Fuck it. Fuck it. 28% with the old pistol. Nope. Ugh, you guys. You fucking guys. Katie fucking Perry. Needs some, uh, she needs to go to spec savers because she can't see shit. I'm going to send that demon through the ship, trying to sneak up behind the little bastard. See how he likes that. Uh, another sniper rifle shot for what it's worth. Oh, she's got it. Jesus. That was way more difficult than it needed to be, and we didn't get the goddamn meld. I honestly thought we were going to get the meld. I'm pretty pissed off with that. I think we've classed up Katy Perry, though. Um, so hopefully she has taken on a class other than Sniper. We've got more than enough bloody Snipers at the moment. Sniper. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why? Why? Why would she be a Sniper? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's going to weave us gravely wounded. 18 days. Fuck in hell. But at least she got squad sight, so now she's a proper backup sniper. Wow. That was not the best. Not the best at all. We did get two flight computers and a power source. That's pretty good. But um, other than that, not great, to be honest with you. You know, could have been, could have been better. But no one died, so that's a bonus, I suppose. And we killed two more of those goddamn seekers. Uh, what's the sitch room looking like? Wow. That fucking third satellite isn't ready and isn't going to be ready either. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. That is a real pain in the ass. So we are going to lose a country here. And we need to start planning for it. Uh, Japan. Japan is a good one. 100 a month. Bonus of future combat. The future combat bonus is not something we have to worry about, so Japan is a possible loss. All in is quite a good bonus. So if we could help it, we'd want to keep these. So I think we're going to lose Japan and try and keep Egypt and South Africa alive. I mean, there's always a chance we could get a mission in one of those countries. Like a terror mission in the next five days. But it's not looking good. Let's start scanning. Three, two, one. Stop, 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 stop. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I realise Japan has the better monthly funding, but the funding boost from the all in bonus is probably better at this stage. Um, so, our two satellites are going. Are going here, Egypt and South Africa. Um, Egypt, South Africa, Satellite. and then we need interceptors in Africa. Uh, view ship list, Africa. Where's Africa? There we go. Order two interceptors, 
for Africa. Uh, and that is it. We are going to save and get our monthly report, which is probably going to be quite bad, because we had a code black in the month, didn't we? Was this the month we had the code black? Japan has withdrawn. Well, we knew that was going to happen. There was nothing I could do to save Japan. It's okay, guys. They've got mechs that can survive. <laughs> Grid B? Oh, that's not too bad, considering. Jesus Christ, I was expecting it to be far worse. Oh. Okay. Right. That's not too bad at all, really, all things considered. Uh, right, we've got 435 credits. We are going to want to save some for the carapace armor, which is ready in one day. Uh, not the hangar. I want to have a quick look in the barracks. Squad size 2 we still can't get. Iron Will is quite a good one to pick up because it's like... The earlier you get it, the better the will bonus is. However, it's 200 quid. Um, so I think we're best waiting for that till next month. Because right now we're going to want to spend a lot of money on Carapace Armour. Um, what other options have we got? May have been true after all. They're not just here for abductions. They have something else in mind. Nano fiber vests we don't need to worry about. More satellites. Another satellite nexus. This morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Commander, at this point a foundry... Alright, Chen, Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm thinking. Leave me alone. Um, blah, 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 blah. we have quite a bit of power, but what we need is another uplink, which we need more engineers for. I'm not too worried about the foundry. We do need the alien containment, that's something. We also need the arc thrower. Genetics lab, only costs 50, uses 3 power. We could totally get one of them and still get the satellite uplink once we get more engineers. How many engineers have we got? It's probably about 18. It is 18, so we only two more engineers. Right, okay. Okay, let us... Let us build the uh, genetics lab. Three power, $50. Maintenance at $20 every month. Yep, yeah, 10 days. Okay, let's get that up and we can start looking at what that is, what it does, how it works, all that sort of shit. Uh, might as well excavate that for twenty dollars while we've got the cash. Uh, what else? That is probably it. Let's scan and get this carapace armor. Boom. Okay. Carapace armor available for manufacture. Right. We're getting close. Uh, beam weapons is there. However, let's let's get the arc thrower out of the way, and then we can start thinking about beam weapons. There's also some autopsies we can do, which might get some credits. Um, I think, to be honest, I think the Seeker autopsy is the only one really worth doing. The Chrysalid autopsy gets us the um, the Chrysalid armor, the melee armor, which might actually be useful as well, because I think there's a different melee creature now. Uh, Thin Man autopsy is... I don't think that's anything interesting. Sectorium Floater autopsy is, is the little things for the uh, ships, the little boost things. So we don't have to worry about that. So, uh, Nav Computer Beam Weapons. These are both things we're going to want to look at. But Arc Thrower first. Let's get the Arc Thrower. Um, and as soon as though we're building the Arc Thrower, we will buy Carapace Armor. Uh, I'm going to get five of these, because we don't have a sixth slot yet, so there's no point getting a sixth one yet. Five carapace armors, and um, alien containment. It's going to take five power. That's going to leave us powerless for the satellite uplink. So we're going to need a power generator. Which needs to go there. How much is that likely to cost? 60. That's not too bad. Five days. Let us do that. And let us build the... I won't build the alien containment. I'm going to wait till the power's up. Just in case, like, the next mission. Because we might get, immediately get a mission. Get two engineers and then not be able to build the bloody uplink. Which is the most important thing. If we can get that by the end of the month, that will be fantastic. Uh, we've got a satellite coming in three hours. An uplink would give us... Um, 
Oh, we've already got space for two. So I guess we should build another one anyway. And get another one by the end of the month. Should I order two satellites? I'm thinking that's a pretty smooth move. We can't afford them. Oh, we can afford them. It's just the uplink. Let's get two satellites. Right. Okay. Oh, God. We've got a lot done there. Um, let me save. Because if it crashes and I forget all that, it's going to be a pain in the ass trying to do it all again. Um, and let's do some more scanning. Look at all this shit we are doing now. Oh, my God. This is pro as shit. There's the satellite that we needed for Japan. Slightly too late. Really annoying. Uh, two interceptors making their way to Africa. Satellites operational over Africa. Power generator is complete. Katy Perry has returned to duty. Uh, not that we care about Katy Perry. She's pretty much useless to us. We've got nothing but fucking snipers at the moment. Um, quite a lot of shit just went down. Just quickly make another save. Boom. Request from Asia just expired, and we have some abductions. I would quite like to do the China one for the engineers. However... Shit. Nigeria is very important to us. Oh, this is all going to start stacking up now. This is all going to start stacking up. What was this request? 200 quid for a satellite. Fuck it, let's do that. Let's do that and buy some more. God, get another satellite building quick. Jesus Christ. That was a genius idea. Uh, another one, please. Uh, right. <laughs> what was I doing? Uh, Nigeria. If we don't go to Nigeria, then Nigeria is going to cap out and these two are going to get to four, which we've just put satellites in. We do not want that to happen. That would be a good one to visit. If we do not go to China, then China maxes out and India goes to four. Not a problem, because this continent now is the one we can lose. If we don't go... What was the other one? Was it the UK? Was it Europe? France. Okay, if we don't go to France, then France maxes, UK maxes... And Russia and Germany hit four. Mm. It's all very bad. However, I think we're best going here. Keeping this block safe that we're working on. Don't worry about this one. And then we'll prep, prep, prep satellites for Europe, basically. Satellites for Europe. We may even, if two countries hit red, which they will do, UK and France, we may get a terror mission there that we can use to reduce continent pack, panic. Um, so that could be a smart move, just letting it build over there. Yeah. Mm, right. Okay. Just another quick look at it. Yeah, Nigeria then. We're going to Kano, or Kano, I guess, in Nigeria. Uh, reward of four scientists. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, reward of four scientists. Oh, it's not great. I would rather have the engineers. However, that's where we need to go. It's where we need to be. Nigeria. Uh, so next episode, folks, we're going to Nigeria, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.